Hi children, welcome back to the next class of biology. Here you can see the picture of our school. I really miss it, isn't it? It looks as if it is welcoming you to fill its rooms with your wonderful sounds and again it would thrush with your footsteps. That time is not so far. However, stay healthy and keep safe in your homes. Okay, let's start. Are you ready? Let me check your previous knowledge. What is the function of nervous system? And which parts constitute nervous system? You know, our nervous system controls and coordinates all activities of our body. And receptors, nerves, spinal cord, and brain constitute nervous system. Now, one more thing. Can you say the structural and functional unit of a living body made up of? Yes, simply you have learned it. It is what do we call as a cell. So, all living things are made up of minute cells. So, obviously nervous system is also made up of cells. And that is called a nerve cell or a neuron. Today, we are going to study about the structure of a nerve cell or neuron. And we will check if this structure is suitable for its function. Okay. See the picture. This is the model picture of a neuron or nerve cell. Is this alike to the structure of a cell that you have learned in previous classes? Compare it. See the picture. You can see an ordinary cell and a nerve cell. An ordinary cell and a nerve cell. Compare its structure. Structurally, they are different. But basically, all the cells have cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus and cell organelles. You can see here. The nucleus can be seen in both the pictures and cytoplasm, cell organelles, etc. are there. But their shapes may vary according to their functions. Isn't it? Now, observe these pictures and check whether their structure is similar. Now, you can see different types of cells here. This is the neuron, epithelial cells, red blood cells, ovum or egg cell muscle cells bone cell this is the sperm all these types of cells you have learned in earlier classes and now it's very clear that the structure of cells may differ according to their functions now we are going to study the structure of a nerve cell or neuron in detail. Look at the picture. This is the main part of a neuron which holds nucleus that is called cell body. Like all other cells, neuron has also a cell body which contains nucleus, cytoplasm and other cell, organi cell organelles. But unlike other cells, cell body has certain projections that is some outgrowths you can see. These filament like outgrowths are vary in size. Some are very small outgrowths you can see. But a long outgrowth can also be seen here. Now we are going to study the names of these outgrowths. The smaller filaments are called dendrons. The smaller filaments are called dendrons and dendrons have certain branches which are known as dendrites. The small branches of dendrons are called dendrites. Clear? Now let's see what is the function of dendrites and dendrons. See, dendrites are spread around the cell body so it is very clear that it is the part that receives stimulus or impulse from the adjacent neurons or from environment 
then what is the function of dendrons they pass the impulses from dendrites to cell body now from the cell body you can see a long filament like structure which is called axon and what happens to axon at its end you can see it gets divided into branches and these branches are called axonite at the tip of the axonite you can see knob like structures or sac like ball like structures they are known as synaptic knob synaptic knob okay now tell me the function of axon and axonite axon transfer messages or impulses from cell body to axonites and axonites transfer these impulses to synaptic knob am i right see what happens to synaptic knob when impulses are reached there you can see from synaptic knob some chemicals are secreted outside and these chemicals are known as neurotransmitters see from the synaptic knob some chemicals are produced and these are secreted outside the neuron they are called neurotransmitters and the function of which will be explained later now one more part is left here you can see a covering around the axon it is encircled around the axon and this covering is made up of another kind of nerve cell called schwann cells the function of which will be also studied in detail so dear children today we have learned about the structure of a neuron in detail now you have a small homework complete the flow chart in the right order of the impulses passed through the parts of a neuron and another one draw the picture of a neuron and label the parts according to the indicators given in the screen okay so have a nice day thank you all